Welcome back everyone. This is Jess from J Rose Alchemic Art. Back with another video today and it's actually probably gonna go up right around Christmas time so I hope that you guys are all having a safe and wonderful holiday if you do celebrate. Um, but in this one we're gonna be actually having an intense just two days of I had a last minute sticker order and the customer had asked that I try to get everything out before the holiday rush, so hopefully it would get to them before Christmas, which I was very happy to oblige. Um, this customer had actually been a returning customer from when they had bought some things from me on Etsy, so I was very excited to see them again. Um, very positive that they actually found me again when I moved over to my Shopify account, so I wanted to make sure that everything came out really well and that they got a couple extra little freebie stickers, so I went ahead and designed some new ones, as well as making sure that I printed them out correctly, um, got them all packaged up and sent safely to their next destination. So we're going to be doing that a little bit, and we'll go ahead and get started. Hello friends, I'm back again. Um, I just got an order, which was super nice, from a family actually that had been ordering for me for the past couple of years. So. I recognized the name immediately and I was so excited, but they also explained that the order that they had placed was actually going to be a Christmas gift for their daughter. So I'm going to try really hard to get that order out tomorrow morning so that way hopefully I can get to them before Christmas. Today is actually the 15th, so I believe the USPS said that the 16th is the last day that they will have before they can get like confirm that they will get orders before Christmas. So really gonna try here, but I also wanted to make, because they have been ordering for me for so long and just to show my appreciation, I really wanna make like a cute little freebie sticker for them, like just a holiday one. I haven't decided, I, I might just do both because um, I really like the idea of the present and the Christmas tree one, but we'll see how it goes. I at least had the sketch, so now I'm going to actually start drawing it out digitally. So hopefully I can print that out, um, get the order all ready to go, and then send it out tomorrow morning and hope that it gets there in time. Oh, fingers crossed. We're going to be saying some good, good thoughts right now. <laughs> so of course, in the spirit of vlogging, we have prints right next to us here, making sure that all the little details go well and... Also, obviously, um, he's making sure that things are going as scheduled, there's no issues, and who knows, he, he might also just be eating with my hair, or playing with my hair, that, that's fine. basic outline done. I think we're just going to draw in like a couple little extra details here and there just to make it a little more colorful because what am I without color? <laughs> and then I think we'll add a little star, maybe a little ghost friend, and I think this little freebie sticker will be pretty darn good. I need to make some of the colors just a little bit darker though just because the tree is also fairly light. Just to kind of make it stand out a bit. But yes, um, this family has actually been buying for me for a couple of years now, which is super sweet. I, of course, appreciate anyone that purchases anything for me. Um, never expected, but yeah, I especially enjoy... I want my... when I send out things for my shop, I want them to feel like little gifts as well. Sometimes they are, and sometimes they're, you know, gifts for yourself, for a loved one, whatever it might be. But every time I hope that when people open a package for me, it really does feel like a gift to them. So sometimes it's nice to just spruce things up just a little bit and show appreciation where you can. a little ghost friend right behind the tree actually because I think that's just kind of fun to make it look like it's 
kind of hiding out, but also wanting to say hello. So, we're still on our mono line, so we should be good. But we're going to make a separate layer for making the eye details. And actually, we might make the eye just a bit bigger. Sometimes I'm never quite sure how big to make an eye until I actually practice it out and everything. I'm like, oh yeah, no, a little bit bigger or oh, a little bit smaller, just so I can get the little pupil details in there as well. And honestly, sometimes the easiest way to save yourself like the headache of making sure that everything looks uniform and even is just to copy and paste. <laughs> Unfortunate sometimes, but it, it does kind of help with your digital drawing. So, go. And yeah, I think that is actually pretty darn cute. We're gonna make a red background, I think, though, just because the ghost is behind it. So, let's actually go because I don't have red saved in there very well yet. And actually, to make my stickers, I do use a different brush. I use the hard brush here to add this background. And yeah, actually, I wonder if we can make it just a hair layer. Uh, <laughs> let's try that. Nah. I think it's okay as it is. So, I think we're good with that one. And we'll go ahead and make our other friend here next. Apologies for Prince literally walking right in the frame as I'm finishing here, but I finished the sticker design. I actually really like this one. And I think this will be the freebie for when I send off my package tomorrow. So. I will get this sent out over to my computer so I can print it out, get it hooked up to my Cricut, and then we'll pack everything up and we'll be good to go. So, ooh, I'm excited that I got this done and I'm actually pretty happy with it so far. I'm just kidding, I added more stars, but now I'm happy with it. So we will go ahead and get the sun off and I think we'll be good to go. Thank you for your help, Princey. Oh my goodness, you need so much attention right now. Yes, all good things. Alrighty, so we have brought all of our designs into Cricut here. So we just need to go ahead and see if it'll all fit on one page and it doesn't. So I need to take out a couple of stickers. No big deal. Stick out these last one. Sorry, it is very early in the morning too. I tried to get some extra sleep. I was also too excited, so I'm not really sure if it was worth it. Okay, and everything should fit, so good there. Yep, so these are always the options that I have to do personally for when I'm making my stickers. And I always have to go to preferences and always have to go to paper quality. And I always make sure to pick glossy paper so the market note or the printer knows to actually print it out correctly. And then we'll print. So after everything has been printed out, we go ahead and cut it out with scissors. I actually do this individually instead of using my Cricut because for whatever reason the Cricut does not like it when I use the sparkly vinyl paper to make it. So I ended up just going ahead and cutting things individually and then I'll add it separately to the vinyl sticker paper. <clears throat> and honestly I think they look really cute when everything is done. I did go ahead and make a couple extra of these little heartless stickers because I'm going to have a convention in actually a few weeks now. And I wanted to make sure I had a couple extras of these because they are actually pretty popular when I bring them. Uh, but I think that there's lots of cute things to be made in the coming year. 
I'm really excited to be trying out some new projects, uh, including possibly some clay earrings. I am thinking about maybe working on another Lucy plushie design. I might go with the same manufacturer that I had worked with before when I worked on it last year. At the time, there wasn't a whole lot of interest for her, which is t completely understandable. But now that I have been doing more in-person events and seeing like a lot of different people coming to look at my art, I think it might not be a bad idea just to see if there's any interest for her. So I might bring her along to one of my events and we'll see what happens. Other life updates that have happened recently, I have been very busy with work lately, unfortunately, with my full-time job but still trying to make time for myself and spending time with my loved ones as well as my art. I know I have very much neglected any sort of like digital drawing, unfortunately, in the last couple of months, but I am hoping to get back into it again with the new year. I have been working on lots of things in my sketchbook, so I'm hoping to hopefully make those into full illustrations potentially as well as I'm hoping to potentially start working on a picture book, potentially. That one's more of a pipe dream, but <laughs> we'll see what happens in the new year. You never know. I certainly never expected to be going to consistent uh, in-person events like conventions and art markets, but here I am um, almost through 2023, and I've attended several throughout this year, so that is awesome. I am honestly very happy that I was able to put myself out there and I am normally a very shy and quiet person so having the courage to do that and you know have people recognize my art is a very humbling experience but also very exciting and of course it's always very nice to still be able to receive online orders like this as well because it just makes me happy that the idea that my art is still being seen throughout the world and that it can hopefully be shared by people who also love whatever you know speaks to them when they look at my art so but yes it's very odd to look back on this and think about how when i was a small kid i always thought i would be a pediatrician working to help take care of other kids and now I am still kind of following along that career path, but in the other side of medicine with adults. I always loved reading, fantasy stories, drawing, had a big imagination, all those things. And I still kind of have that. I never thought I could be an artist because I had always heard the, you know, starving artist, you know, you're never going to make money, that sort of thing. But it's nice to still be able to come back to that and still create and draw the worlds that I want to and just fun little characters that come to mind so I really do appreciate all those that have been following along and seeing how I have progressed throughout my journey as an artist but for now we will get back into the packing and little stories here well I finally got the shipping label printed out I was having a lot of issues unfortunately with Shopify was super excited didn't pay attention to the dimensions of the actual shipping label so when I tried to print it out came out like this. I have covered everything so we don't have any personal information going out. But yeah, that was um, not fun. Like I tried to mess around with the dimensions a couple of times. Got like a little bit bigger but then it would cut off and then mm, just did not work. So learn from my misadventures in labeling and make sure you always pay attention no matter how excited you are for a new order. Make sure you pay attention and actually get the right dimensions on your label. And yes, I am happy to say that I received the notification that the package was dropped off successfully at its location. So thankfully, I hope that that family enjoys their little Christmas present. I did go ahead and just show off a little bit of the tree here just because it's always fun and exciting to decorate it with all the ornaments and lights. I hope that you've enjoyed this one though, guys, and look forward to more art and new videos in the coming year. And if you do celebrate the holiday, Merry Christmas. If not, then I hope you at the very least have a safe and wonderful day. Until next time, I hope you guys have a great day.